Good morning, Church. Uh, I'm Tony, uh, for those who don't know. Um, just a little greeting for you this morning. I hope you're well. And I hope you know God is near you at this time. Uh, I just want to share something about dirty windows this morning. Um, so I was sat here uh, recently looking out of a dirty window, uh, covered in dust and kids' mucky sticky oily handprints um, and it got me thinking um, so I got gave it a bit of a clean um, <laughs> and uh, it made the room I was sat in feel uh, better and it made the view I had of the outside world better and I felt that that was a bit like us um, Sometimes we can allow things to to build up around us. Um, dirt can build up around our lives, um, and particularly now, whilst we're we're sat at home, you know, whether that be anger or resentment uh, as a situation, um, could be self pity or bitterness towards others or anything else. Um, it's stuff that builds up and stops us seeing God um, for who He is and seeing God's plans. Um, so there's a passage in Philippians 4, um, it's my favourite passage, um, that goes, um, Paul writes this, says, always be full of joy in the Lord, and again I say it, rejoice, love that. So uh, always be full of joy in the Lord, I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember the Lord is coming soon, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. And his peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And goes on. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honourable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about these things uh, that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. And when Paul wrote that, he was in prison. He was isolated from those he cared about and those who cared about him. And he didn't know what the future was going to hold. Um, so very similar to a situation a lot of us are feeling at the moment. Um, but Paul's perspective is very different um, to what you would have expected him uh, to have um, in that situation. And I think he was looking through a clean window. Um, I think he was taking things to God um, daily, often, and making sure he had short accounts um, so that he could see the world um, through God's eyes. He could see God's glory around him um, without being distracted, um, without having that view stolen from him. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't want to belittle anything anyone's going through. I know lots of people have very challenging circumstances at the moment, but it's worth us remembering that our our attitude to suffering and our circumstances um, can be as harmful as some of those things that we are going through. Um, and it's not to, this isn't a positive mental attitude um, devotional. It's more just reflecting on that piece of scripture where Paul instructs us how to be Christians. And this is, this is what we should do. We should give thanks. We should... Um, rejoice and rejoice again and we should focus on the things of God those good things that it talks about in that passage um, so I just want to leave that with you and ask um, how clean are your windows today <laughs>